Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Flexo Master. Today we are going to discuss and study the Dr. Blades for printing industry. Previous chapters we have discussed on analog tools and the most important chapter here today is Dr. Blades for printing industry. So let us start. Dr. Blitz for Printing Industry, Chapter Number 13. So, we start with the introduction. Dr. Blitz began replacing rubber metering rolls in the flexographic ink transfer process in the early 1970s. Compared to metering rolls, Dr. Blitz could shear inks from an analog surface more precisely. They were also less affected by the hydraulic pressure of ink that widened the gap between the analogs and metering roll. In the beginning, ink was first delivered from an ink pan to the analogs by a rubber fountain roller. The doctor blade, <coughs> the doctor blade replaced the metering roller and wiped excess ink from the analogs in a positive wiping position. In this position, the blade was subject to the same hydraulic pressure as the metering roller. Press speeds were restricted by an increase in hydraulic lift. Soon the doctor blade was reversed so as to engage the analogs in a negative or shearing position, which resulted in reducing the analogs ink film even at higher speed. At that time, the only downside to Dr. Blade ink metering was an increase in damage and wear to the mechanical engraved and chrome plated analog surface. Some analogs wore flat in a matter of weeks. In the 1980s, ink metering changed totally for two reasons. Number one, laser engraved analog rows were developed. They were far more wear resistant than a mechanical engraved chrome surface and made it possible to engrave a much smaller and higher line count plus the surface ink film could be reduced. <coughs> so it became possible to print finer type and smaller dots with less dot gain. Number two, chamber doctor blade metering system were introduced. The lowered the amount of ink required to charge the system by as much as 50%, ink was less exposed to evaporation and atmospheric pollution and more stable for longer runs. Laser engraved analogs rolls and to some degree chambered, chambered ink metering systems opened the door to the many key process element improvements that followed to ink importantly improvements to inks blades mounting tapes sleeves doctor blades and so on were not needed when an analog line count was restricted to 360 cells per inch or less as a result flexo evolved to be a specified printing method for many quality conscious print buyers Dr. Blade evolution. When laser analog rolls were first introduced, the cost of each was often five times greater than the chrome surface it was replacing. Printers commended the quality gains resulting from higher line counts and thinner ink films, but the laser surface was vulnerable to wear and damage. The weakness initially slowed migration to laser surfaces. In response to concern about wear and damage, new types of doctor blade steels and new blade edges were developed. Edges and thickness. <coughs> In lamella or step edge doctor blades, originally a rotogravir design, the edge of the blade steps down to about half the full thickness, a 0.2 millimeter thick blade set steps down to 0.10 millimeter. The idea was to reduce the contact area and achieve a thinner ink film. 
However, the lamella tip has a tendency to flex a desirable feature in rotogravure but not in flexor. When pressure is applied, allowing more, not less, ink to pass beneath. Another problem of the thinner edge area is that it wears twice as fast until the point that the tip wears completely or in some cases snaps off. The lamella edge is prone to producing silvers of steel which threaten the analogs. On a radius edge blade which until recently was most popular edge among wide web printing, the blade's radius could seat to the analog surface during the job startup process. The majority of printers choose a 0.2 mm thick blade because it was thick enough to resist bending when pressure was applied and added life. Beveled edge blades are developed to assist a blade's seating to the analogs. Originally, they were 45 degrees, then 30 degrees, 15 degrees, and 8 degrees. New stable bevel design arrived which, with the advent of high-speed HD flexo machines and the use of an expanded color gamut. Printers required a blade to make a and maintain a fine contact area for longer runs or for use uh, multiple jobs for new elongated 2 degree bevel combined with a super alloyed micro refined steel. Coated blades were developed for the rotogravir printing markets. The ink repellent coatings with life enhancing properties reduce particle sticking, a major source of print defects in rotogravir. Recently, coated blades have found their way into flexo initially through well intended OEMs. Their benefit in flexo primarily longer life can be offset by an increase the risk of analog damage. To keep prices down, some coatings are applied to low quality steels if considering such a blade. It's important to know the quality of the steel beneath the coating as it will eventually contact the analogs. When combined with a high quality, high performance steel coated blades are proven winners in long run. High speed application and in coatings and adhesive application, especially when analog line counts are coarse. Then come to laser engraved analogs. Cell of mechanically engraved analogs are formed when a gear like tool is forced into a thin, malleable copper coating on the analogs surface. The teeth of the tool are a reverse of the cell being formed because copper is relatively soft. A thin 0.005 inch final coating of hard chrome plate was applied to reduce wear and damage. Unfortunately, the surface was still very easy to damage. Depending on blade pressure, the chrome could wear off in a week of use. Longer life was the original advantage of the laser engraved, engraved analogs. Ceramic could resist both damage and wear because a laser can burn an in carrying cell straight down without the sloping walls of mechanically engraved cells. A laser cell carries more ink, gradually, laser engraved line counts increased. Process analogs went from 360 to 600 cells per inch. Increased cells could be metered to deliver required ink density from the cell rather than the analog surface. Eventually, line counts surpass 1000 per inch analog ink films could be most almost entirely removed. It was the pos then possible to have a plate to analog plus impression without overwhelming the dot. Enclose ink delivery. While the analogs was in evolving, so was the ink metering system, totally enclosed ink metering system consisting of a reversed angle doctor blade, a containment blade in the positive or wiping position and end seals acting as a dams as each end that were pressed against the analog roll. Ink was pumped into the chamber while gravity returned to the ink pail. The amount of ink required to charge the system was 50 percent less than the traditional ink system. At the same time as an enclosed system reduced evaporation 
and contamination of the ink. Here, the ink goes in and it will transfer to the analog roller and the blade wipe here in the both sides and the ink will out and it will again uh, it's a revolution it's a uh, continuous process blade material the fundamental job of a doctor blade is to meter or remove excess ink from the analog surface after all Excess analog ink film is the heart of dirty print and dot gain. In the beginning, different plastic and steel materials are varying dimensions, making contact at different angles were evaluated to determine which one could meter best, last longest and be least damaging to the analog surface. The best metering occurs when the contact angle between the blade and analog is set at plus minus 35 degrees and the contact area is minimized. Wide contact areas even when in a reversed position are subject to hydraulic lift. Resulting in a thicker analog surface ink film, contact angle less than 35 degrees results in a wider contact area. Contact angles greater than 35 degrees are prone to chatter and become more abrasive and more wearing to the analog surface. At a 35 degree contact angle, it was determined that only steel had the rigidity to make analog contact with the least wide contact. Other materials like plastic were not rigid enough to 0.015 millimeter and 0.02 millimeter thick. Therefore, plastic had to be thicker to achieve rigidity resulting in a thicker, wider contact area. Hence, plastic was never a real contender for use on high quality print, process print. Even with a step down tip, this is especially most important when blade to analog pressure is high. As so often in the case, in addition, plastic polymers were became soft and embedded into the ceramic porosity changing the analog surface wettability. Swedish steel. In 1980, a typical OEM doctor blade specification described using the best Swedish blue strip steel. So it is that Swedish steel evolved from its long history of high quality iron production dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries. It turned out Swedish iron ore contains the proper percentage of trace elements to make very high quality alloy steel. In the later part of the 19th century, Swedish steel took a leadership position in the development, production and fabrication of the metal. Today, Sweden is recognized in the world for producing among the highest quality strip steels used for production of scientific instruments, defect-free razor blades and more recently doctor blades. In the beginning, when steel was selected as the best material to precise meter ink, it was general use strip steel. It performed well enough against coarse line analogs at slow press speeds. However, as analogs line counts and press speeds increased, the industry realized a more specialized steel was needed than customized blades. In recent years, new specialty strip steels have been developed. Changes to chemical composition combined with modified hot rolling, core rolling and tempering has resulted in much slower and even wearing doctor blades while making them less abrasive against analogs. As these new customized blades slowly wear, they yield a fine micro powder rather than the analogs damaging silvers and chunks. In most cases, extended blade life is a result of a higher occurrence of even ever smaller, harder and evenly distributed microparticles in the steel composition. These materials are far less hard than the cer ceramic on an analog. A press room producing high definition flexography at high, high speed can now use on top performing blade for multiple days on multiple jobs in place of 10 or more single use blades, even on whitings. Their higher cost is easily justified as a waste and downtime 
are reduced and annual blade spin drop. They also require a lot less handling, thereby reducing safety concern while achieving a tenfold reduction in the disposable of using used blades. Developments leading to a new types of doctor blade still did not still did not happen overnight. It is the result of a evolutionary response over many years to changes made to flexography ink, uh, ink transfer process, changes to envelopes, ink metering system, inks and new faster and better control press technology. Now come to plastics. In the past, plastics were used as a containment blade material because they are naturally more flexible than steel at thin gauge. But over a time, problems surfaced such as hard pigment and resin particles can easily embed onto soft plastic materials allowing these particles to potentially embed into cells or even contribute to analog scoring when plastic wear the worn particles embed into ceramic changing the surface dyn levels optimal blade preference the ideal containment blade should be high quality steel relative the relative to the material used for doctoring a thickness of 0.006 inch or possibly 0.008 inch depending on the thickness of the doctor blade radius edge depending on chambers set angle the same or slightly wider than the doctor blade what edge to use radius bevel or lamella the fundamental purpose of the flexographic doctor blade is to remove excessive ink from the analog surface, roll surface. The remaining ink film on the analogs combined with ink in the analog cells needs to be enough to achieve color density on the printed substrate. If the blade fails to remove ink, enough ink, what remains on the analog surface transfer more than is necessary to plate and substrate. The excessive ink requires more dry time energy consumption in addition the thicker ink film or more rapidly overwhelm the plate raised image resulting to dot gain dirty print and mid run press stops to clean the plate it's showing here is a chamber doctor blade and here is the the direction of the analog roll and the, the gap between blade tip to tip the blade extension the in red color blade clamping seat is the clamp where the seat the converse is not always true while it is possible to remove too much surface ink from the analogs especially when metering a low line count surface used in heavy transfer application it's rarely happen with high higher line counts in fact the flexo made its biggest print quality gains by moving to higher line analogs and all but eliminating the surface ink film today today hd flexo relies on a precise volume of ink from the cell not surface ink films the importance of the blade contact area in the metering process can't be overstated from the beginning it was understood that the width of the blade at the point it contact the analog surface should as narrow as possible the wider the contact area the great greater the ink hydraulic impact as press speeds increase hydraulic pressure lifts the blade allowing more ink to pass and result in the list of negative already mentioned contact area influence flexo adopted the use of doctor blades to metering ink from the rotogravure gravure print process in rotogravure the blade is used in wiping position the dynamics of wiping a gravure cylinder especially in the area that is not engraved to achieve and maintain optim optimum performance are very different than in the shearing or scrapping action of the doctor blade in flexo the rotogravure press operator purposely manipulates the blade contact area to achieve more or less wipe of the area that is not engraved a very small amount of ink is allowed to pass beneath the blade to lower friction and wear off both the chrome cylinders and the blade. Both the bevel tip and a lamella tip were developed to aid in this process. Part of this influence also involved the use of more or less pressure 
to adjust the blood blades flex in the flexor process the challenge is to set a blade to the analogs at roughly 30 degrees to 35 degrees and keep it there most doctor blade metering systems are preset to position that blade at the optimum contact angle it is much easier to maintain the angle in a single blade system like those common on the label printing industry however chamber blade metering systems are a challenge during a press run analog cell trap and increasing amount of air thereby reducing the amount of ink they hold to overcome this starvation the pump pressure can be increased to try to force more ink into the cells increased pressure within the chamber causes end seals to fail to stop the end seals from leaking the chamber and seals are pressed tighter to the analogs increased pressure causes blade to flex bending them over the tip and increasing the contact area as the blade tip bends the contact area widens and the analog ink film deepens there are three types of doctor blade tips normally radius for flexo this is the number one choice the polished true radius edge is the best performant it conforms to the analog radius quickly with no particular resistance it is safer to handle and offer a longer run time as you get a full measure of blade material from the outset there is also a small price advantage this is the radius type of doctor blade now come to the bevel these are some advantages to using a bevel edge blade in label printing especially when a single blade holder is used elongated bevels with angles less than 10 degrees requires no break in time the beveled edge is easier to see not always the case of 30 degrees or 15 degrees the operator should know the bevel must face away from the analogs and should exercise extreme caution and handling some wide web printers prefer to use the 2 degree bevel on their new hd flexo application here is the image now come to and this is also 15 degree bevel and now come to the lamella lamella edge this is the most popular tip for rotogravure printing because it's easily flexes but remember flexes flex is a negative in flex lamella seems to be a favorite of press manufacturers yet when pressed their technical staff admit they like the lamella for use in their demo centers when runs at 20 minutes otherwise they would naturally use to radius or bevel tip many analog rolls have been damaged when the lamella bends when pressure to produce large hair like strands of steel making the right choice isn't always obvious yes sometime a thicker blade achieve a thick, thinner contact area using the right blade material thickness and tip can be critical to the success of a printing program some blade suppliers offer assistance to help determine which tip and thickness is best for a given application analog roll and ink suppliers also can assist in helping you to decide doctor blade composition and material in the age of hd flex of printing choosing the right doctor blade material can be confusing as a challenge suppliers offer many material choices including carbon steels stainless steel tool steels especially alloyed steels coating steels coated steels plastics not all of these materials are equal to task of achieving precision ink metering on an analog roll to create the perfect ink film here a short assessment what out there as you read this keep in mind we are talking about doctor blades and not containment bullets for use the higher end of flex when analogs routinely exceeded 1000 lpi in plate screen ranges between 133 to 175 lpi
plastics plastics and synthetic materials are most frequently used in non critical flexo print or coating applications such as when printing on corrugated board and craft paper sack the composition of plastic and synthetic material can include some combination of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene polyolefin polypropylene polyvinyl chlorides polymer fiberglass nylon the list goes on while these materials can offer long life and perform well in a variety of industrial application they fall short on the following critical points when used at dr bullet to achieve precision ink film metering when compared to steel inability to achieve thinnest ink film due to poor poor overall rigidity inability to achieve and maintain a consistent nick free edge during run when reduced to 0.15 mm or 0.20 mm thick tip the edge can soften and deform hard ink bond debris can embed into plastic causing streaks and analog damage plastic resins embed into analog ceramic altering critical dyne levels sustainability according to the epa website in 2012 and 9 only 9% of all plastic waste recycled stainless steel steel doctor blades are used by a majority of flexographic and rotographic printers around the world doctor blades are made from strip steel they are made using an electrical arc furnace process which uses nearly 100% recovered steel the base composition is iron and carbon other elements such as chromium nickel moly molybdenum tungsten vanadium can be added to the melts chemistry to achieve desired application specific performance such as resistance to wear abrasion temperature and so on in addition to chemistry strip steel are processed through various treatments such as hot rolling cold rolling hardening and tempering how these treatments are performed how much pressure is applied or what temperature the strip is brought to is as important to the end results as the chemical ingredients strip steel is manufactured in very large quantities often several tons the end result is product that is extremely consistent within its own batch and from batch to batch strip steel's advantage over plastic and synthetic materials are steel can achieve and maintain a thinner contact area as compared to plastic materials resulting in a thicker ink film and reduce occurrence of dot gain as materials wears the structure and density remain constant wear generated debris easily migrates in ink without altering ceramic dyne levels sustainability according to the epa website up to 95% of steel is re recycled more most strip steels used to make doctor blades are made from 100% recycled materials modified steels different steel types have also been developed to meet challenges and challenges of the flexo ink transfer process here is a short review of this material carbon steels the lowest cost type of steel strip which with a refined microstructure they tend to be perform well in shorter runs especially when a blade is not to be reused or for another job stainless steel of offer deformation resistance in corrosive application improved resistance to wear especially against lower line count analogs and coating roll tool steels these achieve superior wear resistance it important to be sure the macro structure is super refined as hardness in increased especially alloyed steels through chemistry achieve reduced abrasion and less analogs wear coated blades when applied to a high quality base steel blade coatings can extend blade life considerably especially in hostile environments such as varnish coatings safety and material selection it all doctor blades have the potential to cut person when being handled including radius edge radius steel and plastic material common sense and best practices that include the use of cut resistance gloves when handling a blade allow the majority of press rooms to operate for years with without fingers and hand cuts many doctor blades suppliers offer a full range of blade materials 
in including all that are mentioned here it makes sense to know what material you now run and if you are considering making a change know what you hope to gain by doing so your supplier should be able to assist in a controlled material evaluation to support your decision. In conclusion, using the right doctor blade material is combination with the right dimension edge can reduce or eliminate print defects like dirty print and dot gain. It also possible to eliminate back doctoring, reduce end seals leaking, avoid mid run press stops and achieve an increase in press space. When all is said and done, and what price, whatever price, a doctor bullet can more impact a press run than almost any other process element. Given the importance of a doctor bullet to the success of the ink transfer process, as a case can be made, the doctor bullets play a critical role in the overall success of the enterprise, which is to make money. Print related waste on press challenges. The optimum doctor blade and setup can address dot gain, dirty print, back doctoring, starvation, color density concern, end seal leaking, ink slinging, UV spitting, downtime. The optimum doctor blade and setup can address the following mid run press stops to address print related waste. Excess you might make ready times often related to doctor blade setup. Analogs wear and damage, poorly maintained doctor blade holders, chamber severely impact performance. Failure to select the optimum meter and containment. Failure to train operators on doctor blade setup and use. These are the very informative information on this subject of doctor blades in flexographic printing industry. I thank you very much for giving your valuable time. And, uh, any questions, you can also write email to ask more and more questions to understand and I can answer your questions immediately for email. Thank you very much. Hello viewers, thank you very much for your time and watching this subject with your own interest and looking forward to see you with my another video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.